If ever a show is defined by its on-screen chemistry, it's ITV's This Morning. A simple, lifestyle magazine show which was better than it had any right to be, and one that has brought us some of the best on-screen presenting partnerships over its 35-year history. But behind all the giggles and countless NTA awards, the show's presenters rarely leave with a smile on their face. And Philip Schofield's departure after nearly 21 years is just the latest in a long line of controversies involving its biggest stars. But why? Is the show cursed to repeat the cycle which has befallen the Silver Fox? Let's take a look back at the most infamous exits of this morning's hosts. But first, the exception to the curse, it's Richard and Judy, the husband and wife who cemented the show's popularity and provided the platform for all the others to follow. From covering the death of Diana, Richard's infamous Ali G impersonation, Is it because I is black? To helping launch the careers of stars like Lily Savage and Charlotte Church, Richard and Judy brought daytime TV to the masses and made this morning essential viewing. Sadly, all good things must come to an end, and in 2001, after 13 years at the helm, the couple parted ways amicably with the programme, jumping ship to Channel 4 to host their self-titled show, Richard and Judy. After a few false starts, we're looking at you here, Twiggy and Colleen Nolan, ITV bosses must have thought their prayers had been answered when the pairing of John Leslie and Fern Britton proved to be a big hit with viewers. Leslie seemingly had the world at his feet, and both him and Fern are credited with helping jumpstart the show, which had begun to flatline post Richard and Judy. But that all came crashing down in 2002, as allegations began to circulate about his personal life, following an unsubstantiated claim by broadcaster Matthew Wright, which named Leslie as the man who raped Ulrika Johnson. Wright subsequently apologised for the error, but a media storm followed. He stepped back from the show to clear his name, but never returned. Cast your minds back to 2009 now, and viewers were in shock when the unthinkable happened, with beloved fans favourite Fern Britton announcing a shock exit after 10 years in the job. First hosting alongside Leslie, with Philip Schofield, she took the show to new heights, forming an iconic pairing from 2002 to 2009. Yet the writing was on the wall, as speculation began swirling of a rift between the two. A difficult working relationship, consistent arguing and a pay gap were all rumoured to be causing a stir. But Fern rubbished suggestions money was ever an issue in 2019, saying she didn't even know what Phil was being paid. But for him, it was the show that would inevitably be the relationship's downfall. Describing in his autobiography an argument between the pair when Fern accused him of meddling, he said he thought that's the reason she didn't want to do this morning anymore. And there's still no love lost either. In 2018, Fern claimed she wasn't even invited to appear for the show's 30th anniversary celebration at the BAFTAs. Ouch. The second husband and wife duo on our list, Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford were powerhouses on the show for 15 years, hosting every Friday until their exit in 2021. The younger duo of Derma O'Leary and Alison Hammond filled the slot left by the pair, with Holmes moving on to GB News. And last year, he accused ITV of spreading lies about his exit, insisting he didn't quit, saying, they left me, and it wouldn't be this morning without some Philip Schofield-related drama. With Ruth still working at ITV's Loose Women, she's kept relatively quiet, but her husband? Not so much. He's attacked Holly and Phil's relationship as being false, claiming she knows the truth about her now former co-host, and with one parting shot, he slammed Schofield's goodbye statement, claiming he didn't step down, but was sacked. We're not sure he'll be on Phil's Christmas card list this year. And so we return to the man of the moment, the latest loss to the This Morning lineup. What went wrong for one of the jewels in the ITV crown? Well, that's still up for debate, but after a few high-profile public faux pas, including queue jumping to pay their respect to the Queen lying in state, and with a growing number of recriminations against his character, it seems in his own words that ITV decided the current situation can't go on. Ultimately, no one is bigger than the show. And although Schofield's departure feels seismic, we're sure that this morning will continue on, as it always has done.